Welcome to a new video from CAD Crazy. Uh, this time we're going to be looking at uh, using Navisworks Manage to run our clash detection against our model. Now I know you can do this uh, with inside of CADWorks, uh, but it's never really worked out very well for me. It, it generated a lot of false clashes. I'm not saying it's going to, not going to do it with Manage, but it's also a little easier to see at times. So um, let's get into it. So if you've got your ribbons open in Navisworks uh, and all the way over to the tools section you will see that there's a clash detective. So we're going to click on that and that's going to bring up a, a new dialog box, the clash detective um, uh, box. And so what we got to do is we got to start a test. So we're going to add a test to it. Uh, so you click on the test and then come over here to uh, rename it. So this time we're going to do uh, pipe versus steel. Okay. And you can see right now that there's no clashes. There's no new ones active, uh, reviewed, approved, or resolved uh, because we haven't run one yet. So there's a couple ways that you can do uh, a clash. Uh, you can do a standard by standard, which means you compare one model against another model uh, or multiple models. So you can pick piping and say we wanted to compare civil and structural, oh, civil, structural, and then all the equipment. You know, uh, you can do that. You can select the ones that you want to do. Uh, you can also go to properties and compare them by different properties. So like under CAD works, you can go down to line number. And if you want to just compare a certain set of not line numbers, you can do that or all of them. If you hit shift and click, you can highlight them all. If you hit a control, you can unhighlight the ones you don't want to run uh, and then compare it with any of the other models. So in this exercise, what we're going to do is we're just going to go back to standard um, and do this close all these here and we're going to do piping against civil and structural um, now down here you've got uh, your surfaces uh, you can do lines so if you have construction lines and, and stuff like that you can compare that that's your point so if you're comparing your navis works against uh, let's say a point cloud um, you know you can do that um, and then you've got you know a couple of other options right here now you can turn these on and off on both sides so selection A and selection B um, so we're comparing one against the other so right now we're just gonna worry about solids so both of them are turned on on this one uh, you've got a couple different settings you can choose you can do hard you can do hard conservative clearance and duplicates we're just going to do hard uh, your tolerances uh, right now it's set to 0.039 uh, which is less than the sixteenth of an inch uh, in inches so you know let's just do you know ah, I already had a point there one two five so you know eighth of an inch um, the link you can put links in here uh, so we're gonna run our test so it's gonna run okay and now it's come up with five different clashes um, and so when you click on one of these clashes it'll take you right to that location and it will show you what is the two clashes so right now like right here we got pipe against something it's kind of hard to see so if you zoom out you can kind of rotate around and you go oh okay I'm, I'm running up against some some steel here uh, some grating um, now if you want to see a better picture of it you can just go to your report tab right here and you can see you know hey we've got you know some steel right here okay and you know we're hitting the, the base plate so sometimes it does do a false clash you know to me 
Uh, this one is almost a false clash, but let's see. Let's look at this one right here. Okay, so I was hoping we'd have a false clash on one of these, but yeah, let's do this one, for example. Um, you can go right here to status, and you can change it to new, active, renewed, approved, and resolved. Okay, so let's say we did have a false clash, and we didn't want to see that one anymore. We hit approve, and it changes it to, you know, like a green color. Um, this one here, you can see that we definitely have a clash. We got a you know pipe going smack thab through the you know steel here and so we definitely want to keep that uh, and keep it as new because what will happen later on is when you rerun this clash uh, it'll look at the, uh, those clashes that are new and either go okay this one's still active here's your new new ones and or hey they've been they've been resolved i'm going to turn it on you know it, it, it's it's going to be moved to the resolve section over here um now you can see right here we've got four new no active no reviewed one approved because we approved that other one and resolved okay so to me this is a really good way to run your clash now if you want to, how do you get this out to uh, you know your users, your designers to fix this? So there's a couple different ways you can do it. You can go to report, okay, and you can include the clashes you want to see. So new, active, reviewed, approved, resolved. Typically, we don't want to see resolved, okay? They've been resolved. We don't care. Uh, the approved, they're approved. They're, you know, it's it, it might be as simple as uh, a, a shoe just resting on a piece of steel and it's just going in just a hair, you know. Um, you know, we want the new, we want the active, and, you know, the reviewed is okay. So once you select what you want to see, you can go over here and go to uh, your test, your current test, uh, or you can choose one of the other ones if you had more than one. Uh, you can choose an XML file. You can choose an HTML file. So it creates a um, web page with the photos in there and the coordinates. Uh, you can do a text or you can do a viewports. So if you do a viewports and you can select it where it preserves the result highlighting. So sometimes this is good to turn on because sometimes when you if you don't turn it on and it says okay there's a clash it looks for the best angle and sometimes you got other stuff that's in the way so if you and it's hard to see so if you do the preserve result highlighting then it will uh, keep the the green and the red colors and everything else kind of wireframe so you can pinpoint it and then you can turn it off later on if you wanted to so we're going to say write report okay so now if you look over here to our saved viewports it's created a subfolder under our views that says pipe versus steel and it has all of our uh, clashes in here so here's clash one clash two clash three and so you can go the the designer can go through and see where these clashes are so i hope this video helps you on creating clashes for your models um, that way you have less rework in the field um, so if you have any comments please uh you know comment down below if there's something else you'd like to see please hit me up. We'll try to get it. Uh, also, please uh, like, share, subscribe. Uh, it helps us create more videos. And um, until next time, have a good day.